Hi there, Andy Modeler back. In previous videos I've uh, talked mainly about model aircraft related topics. Now in front of us here we have the very excellent OS46 engine. Um, now when you're handling model aircraft engines you have to be quite careful when you are undoing and doing up the steel bolts or screws. I'm going to call them bolts in this video. When you have a steel bolt that screws into an aluminium thread, you have to be quite careful. The engine, when it comes from the manufacturers, the head bolts and the back plate bolts are um, done up okay, to a certain torque. And perhaps you're going to only test them once after the uh, engine has had a, an initial run in. Uh, so those probably aren't going to be such a problem because it's a it's a screw in and then leave unless you are going to have to change the bearings or do some work on the internals of the engine. Well, the problem arises when you are going to be putting on and off the engine, uh, taking on and off the engine the um, the silencer or muffler, however you like to call it, and you are constantly screwing in a steel bolt into the aluminium thread. Uh, you have to be quite cautious when doing this. Now. Uh, I'd like to talk now a little bit about the uh, the job that I had to do on my full-size um, motorcycle. I have quite a dated, from 1984, uh, Honda 200 CMT. Well, the, uh, the engine was due for its oil change, and so about three days ago in the week I changed the oil. And it wasn't a surprise to me, I was waiting for this day for quite a long time. Uh, as soon as I put the spanner to the, uh, to the bolt, um, the uh, thread came away and it had a nice spring on the steel bolt of aluminium. So on the side, in the, 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 the drain plug on the, uh, on the Honda uh, CM200 is on the side, it's not on the, the drain plug is not on the bottom. And the, the wall of the, uh, the crankcase is quite close to the bolt head. Anyway, uh, that kind of spoiled my day, but like I say, it wasn't a surprise because I didn't have, I've not had the, uh, the, uh, the bike from new. I've only had it the last 16 years, and this was the drain plug on the bike. If you can see, that is an aluminium washer, and that is the head of the bolt. Now, that has had some serious torquing by a past owner. You do not need really to be screwing up this uh, drain plug that tight. Uh, all it is that when the engine's running okay the, the, there is pressure inside the crankcase but you do not need to be screwing and winding that up so tight so like I said I was waiting for this day and it happened uh, as soon as I bought the bike like I say 16 years ago this is the drain plug that I bought new and that is the aluminium washer 16 years I'll probably change the oil two three times a year because I do quite a high mileage um, so anyway, I went onto YouTube and there are a number of, number of fixes that you can do and there are probably plenty of better videos of how to um, uh, re-thread uh, in, into aluminium and uh, get around and different kind of fixes. Well, I couldn't put a helicoil into the bike side, not really, not with a drain plug. So what was my fix? Now I'm hoping that this is going to help other motorcycle owners. Well, uh, using um, digital uh, calipers, this is a metric bike, obviously, from Japan. That's a 12 millimeter bolt, all right? Uh, and like I say, uh, I had to put some Teflon tape, some, uh, some PTFE tape on the, on the, uh, the drain plug, uh, put the new oil in the engine, and I ran it for the last two days until this morning, Saturday, when I had had a think of what I was going to do. A uh, bit of advice, any problem on anything really and problems in life is uh, for me personally is don't go rushing in with your first uh, idea to have this to have a fix on anything now. Wait a couple of days unless it's an absolute life emergency and have a think over. Okay, so what did I do? Well, uh, this is a metric thread, okay, 12 millimeters. I uh, sourced and found uh, an adapter this is imperial, okay, and it's a quarter inch, right? And so the quarter inch equivalent in diameter is uh, just over 13 millimeters in metric, uh, metric size. So I then got myself one of these adapters and it has its own internal thread with uh, a tap, a plug basically, okay. So you know where this is going now. Um, I got myself uh, two thread cutting taps of the equivalent thread, quarter inch. Okay, this is number one with the tapered end on the front. This is number three. I didn't bother with the center one. I didn't think it was needed. I did no work 
on the hole that was thread that was stripped. Uh, this morning I just drained the oil, uh, left the bike on its side on its uh, main stand at a side on it at, at an angle. I drained all the oil or all the oil out. And initially what I was going to do was I thought I didn't want to take anything off the bike, not the side exhaust pipe or anything. So I got um, an extension bar for on a socket set and that luckily fitted the square end of the tap. Well, when I actually came to do the work and I was going to do uh, put the, uh, the, the tap handle, on the end of the uh, of the extension. Well, when uh, when when I actually came to do the work on the bike, the exhaust pipe was just too m much over the over the angle of the uh, the head of the of the drain drain plug. So that wasn't going to work for me. So what was the other thing? Well, I managed. There was enough room under the bike before hitting the exhaust pipe outlet, uh, just to put the tap into the hole. And then with a screw, uh, with a, um, a spanner, slowly, slowly wind it down. It had its own lubricant because there was a probably dregs of oil in the sump anyway. Now, probably some of you were wondering, well, you know, well, what was he going to do with all the uh, the aluminium swarf that was probably going to end up in the bottom of the engine? All right, so I put the, uh, the, the number one tap in, tapped it away, then number three. And then I just put some uh, uh, cloth. I plugged the hole with uh, a bit of cloth. The oil that had only been in the bike for three days, really, I filled the sump back up, and then I just pulled the the cloth out, and the initial pressure of one just over one and uh, three quarters uh, liters of uh, of oil emptied all the uh, the aluminium swarf out. Anyway, that was my hope. Um, then, right after that, I left the bike on its side, drained all the oil out, and uh, then. Uh, cleaned up with some uh, tetrachlorine, okay, that cuts any oil and grease out away. I cleaned the hole in the side, the, th the, th the clean thread in the side of the aluminium case. Uh, this is another one I've already, I bought two, the one's already on the bike now, but with some um, metal epoxy, two pack metal epoxy. Uh, this, this now I have put on the bike, threaded it on the bike with the two part of metal uh, epoxy and that now hopefully is going to be one, one part, it's like it was all, like part of the bike. This uh, metal epoxy is rated up to a temperature of 180 degrees. If your bike engine or anybody who owns a motorcycle, if your bike engine gets anywhere close to 180 degrees, uh, the drain plug being a strip thread is going to be the least of your worries because you have just destroyed your engine. Like I say, uh, motorcycle engines do not get anywhere near that kind of temperature. I'd be very concerned if they did. Um, okay, so that now is in the side of the, uh, the crankcase. And uh, tomorrow morning I am going to screw the new what is the new drain plug i actually made myself the other evening having a think about it a new washer out of brass plate okay i didn't have any aluminium plate i just made out of a small piece of flat brass i just squished it up inside a bolt an aluminium bolt with uh, a washer a backing washer and um, uh, a lock nut put it in my small metal turning lathe and whizzed over it, over it a couple of times, then on the flat piece of glass and very fine emery paper uh, made it, as you can see now, nice and shiny. So in effect that then will go as the new sump or washer. Screw that up like that, if I can. And uh, then I will fill it with fresh oil. I'm not going to reuse that oil that's got all the metal um, swarf and fire and uh, bits and pieces in it, even though it was in the bike only to three days. I'm not going to do that. And I, I hope that this has been quite helpful. Um, and for other owners of motorcycles, like I say, you can find on YouTube other videos how to get, get around fixes. But this is a fix where you really want to be able to uh, screw in and out con constantly. Um, I could have just left it with the alumin the new aluminium thread that I cut the quarter inch and p and put a, a new a new bolt that's quarter inch without a hole in there. But over time, that's going to is going to be compromised anyway. Okay, 
but uh, like I say, you do not need to be going and getting the veins in the top of your head pumping out and turning all red in the face, screwing the, uh, um, tightening up this drain plug. You do not need that. Just a little nip up. Um, I think that is 14 millimeter. Just a little nip up, and that's enough. Okay, then. Well, like I said, I hope that that's been helpful. Well, that was my job for this weekend. Um, well, thanks for watching.